Welcome everyone to another raw therapy tutorial. Today we're going to be going over the crop tool. And as you can see here, I have this image that I went out and shot yesterday. It's just a nice flower. And I've spent some time color grading it and changing some of the colors around. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and given it this crop that is a 2.4 to 1, which is more of an anamorphic lens crop. Or I'll just go ahead and turn the crop tool off. First things first, I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna hit I. And I can see how big my image is. It's actually 6,008 pixels by 4,008 pixels. And so I can go ahead and know that this image is quite large. Of course, determining the physical size of a pixel can be kind of difficult. So actually, if I come over here, I can look and see that it's uh, 10.6 centimeters by 25.4 centimeters, or it's 4.17 inches by 10 inches in size. So this image is quite large and currently it has a pixels per inch of 600. So uh, generally when you turn the crop tool on, it will be here with as image. What as image means is that the crop image boundary will go to the edges of the image and just stay there. So however big your image is, is how big the crop will be. Now I can resize by putting my mouse either on one edge or on a corner to resize two edges. So if I uh, click on one edge and just pull down, you can see that I'm cropping in. Or if I go to a corner and then I grab this and pull, you can see that I can uh, use whatever the opposite corner as my pivot point from which to crop. Now before we get into the aspect ratios, I'm going to come real quick here to this guide type and you can just have it on frame. If I have it on none, it won't show me anything, although I can still crop as you can see. If I go to frame, I'll have this kind of marching ants dotted line that shows me where my crop is. Then there's rule of thirds and that gives me the rule of thirds so that I can make sure to either center or put, you know, let's say I want the flower in one third of my image. I can use these lines to help me line that up. There's the rule of diagonals, which gives me this diagonal. One other thing that I'll say is you might have noticed that I just moved the cropping boundary and I moved it by placing my mouse inside of the cropping boundary and holding shift. If you hold shift, uh, you can move your crop around. Of course, if you don't hold shift, you'll actually move the whole image. So just be aware of that. Anyway, back to the guide type. Then we have the uh, harmonic means. We just have a normal grid. And then we have the golden triangle. And if you uh, don't know what the golden triangle is, it's kind of a mathematical way of determining how someone will view an image. So I've gone ahead and I'll just stick with the rule of thirds. Now I can come up here and I can talk about these numbers. So we have left uh, and top, and then we have width and height. So if I change this left number, let's say to something like 200, you can see that the cropping boundary moved to the left. If I increase this number, it'll move to the right. So let's make it something like 600. Uh, same thing with the top and bottom. If I increase this number, this will, the boundary will go down. So let's say 500. And if I decrease it, it'll go back up 200. Now, if I put both of these to zero, you can see that the cropping actually starts from the top left corner and comes down. So just so you, you know, that's what uh, those numbers mean. When it says left, it's meaning, and top, it means the top left corner and everything emanates from there. Then we have the width and the height. And of course, this is the width and the height of our cropping boundary. Um, next, we'll come down here to lock uh, aspect ratio as image and this as image. Now these are two different as images. If I click on this right hand as image, uh, I can choose between portrait and landscape. So if I choose portrait, then the crop will turn into portrait mode, which is a vertical uh, crop, whereas landscape is a horizontal crop. And then we go from as image, which is will just be the, the normal image size, to different cropping ratios. So we can do a three by two, which is what we, actually that, that's what this cropping factor is right here. Uh, 
But then we can go to, let's say, a four by three, which is pretty good. For Instagram, a one by one seems to be very popular and also a uh, four by five in portrait mode is very popular as well. Instagram now allows that four by five instead of one by one. Um, and of course, you have a two by one. Let me change this back to landscape. Um, there's, you know, five by seven if you are looking to print out pictures. And then we get into some real weird ones. Like here's a, a 24 by 65 uh, X pan. Um, here's a 1.41. Uh, of course, this is a U.S. letter. If you know a normal sheet of paper in the U.S., you can go tabloid 11 by 17. Uh, even a passport photo. Of course, that would need to be in portrait. But if you're doing passport photos, that's super helpful. Um, so, anyway, the those are some just some different aspect ratios. But let's say that there's an aspect ratio in here that you want but you there's not a choice to choose one. Oh, also up here 16 by 9 of course is very popular for film widescreen filming crop um, but the one we haven't talked about here is current so let's go over here to current and as you see where it says current you it actually gives us the ratio right here so this is 1.78 uh, by 1 and if I have this lock ratio on, I can actually never change that ratio. I can only change the size. But if I want to change that ratio, meaning I want one side to be longer, one side to be shorter, I can just untick this lock ratio and now I have the freedom. And as I decrease the size, you can see now my, my height is one and my length is 3.61. So how I had cropped this before was I did a 2.4 to one crop. Then I can retick lock aspect ratio and I can resize my crop there to include what I want within the image. Finally, there's the pixels per inch. And of course, the more pixels per inch that you have, uh, the better your image will look when it's scaled up larger. But of course, you can't have more pixels per inch um, than what your image has originally. So I think this image, if I remember right, it has 300. So I can just put in, uh, I can take this and just type in 300 and hit enter. Um, but that won't change the physical size or anything like that. So anyway, that is a little bit about the cropping tool. I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any comments, questions, uh, concerns, or this tutorial helped you out, would you please leave a comment down below? Please like and subscribe if you so choose, and I will see you guys next time.